No, I mean, I have like three, three or four weeks to train before nationals now, so it's a little bit of downtime before, unlike uh, Lindsay and Marquise have, they kind of have a quicker turnaround than I do. Um, so I, I get like a little, little up, upward slope where I get some hard workouts in and then I'm going to decline back into nationals. So it's pretty nice to have, have that four weeks to train and just to really get better and stay healthy. Yeah, I mean, right around, I was like looking for 74 high, 75 low, which is pretty much right around what I hit. Because um, I knew, based on years past, that that would always make it into nationals. Um, this year's a bit tougher with all the returning seniors with the coronavirus and all that. Um, but I knew that was the score I wanted to hit, and I went out there and competed pretty well and came together. Yeah, definitely the, the throws for sure have been... It's been my weaker event for, for a while uh, between discus and shot put. I'm pretty good at javelin, but the discus and shot I've been working on a lot just because that's where I'm losing most of my points uh, throughout nationals or throughout like qualifying for it. Um, but other than that, I've been working on just getting stronger and faster because that translates to so many other events than just the sprints. I feel like Big East is like one of the only meets of the year that are is like high pressure to perform well because there's points involved and you're trying to like, compete for your team and um, there's a little bit more added pressure with that and I think when I'm under a little bit of pressure it helps me perform. I just, my goal is to just jump the way I've been jumping and um, if I do that then who knows maybe I'll be in Eugene too. So if I, if I just keep up what I've been doing in practice and the last few meets I've had then that's that's my goal, just contain or maintain what I've been doing this season. They're, they're awesome. They, their dedication is amazing. And um, I have the same lift as Joe, and we're doing core after our workouts every day and really just trying to get better and stronger. And they're always there to support, or to support me and push me too. So I'm very excited. This is my first prelims um, that I've made in my collegiate career. Um, over in the east, we, my team was a little smaller. We didn't have the coaching staff and the facilities that we have here. So I feel like that really helped me out. And it was only a matter of time before I went to uh, prelim. So I'm very excited. Um, but this is just a pit stop on the way to Eugene. So I definitely want to come out here and jump as close to 16 meters as I can. Um, I know I have it in me. I just haven't had the right conditions or, you know, I've been injured. So this two weeks um, has been good for me to recover. And I think I can go out there on fresh legs and jump very close to 16 meters, if not over 16 meters. They're pushing me to go farther, and I know Lindsey's gonna go jump something crazy this week, and I know Joe, he's already solid, he's solidified himself in um, MU history, and he's gonna go out to Eugene and become an All-American, and I just wanna strive to be on the same level, if not a little far further than them, and they just push me to be the best that I can be. I know Lindsey, yeah. Lindsey's gonna do something really crazy this weekend, so everybody should stay tuned for that. And Joe, Joe's always coming, ready to work, so I, I like having them as my teammates along this journey.